We're talking about kind of the, the inconsistency. I know that's been a theme. Uh, did you, can you put your finger on that and tonight and co coming off the Celtics game? Yeah, simple. We just got to play the same way. Not hard, in my opinion, you know, but hey, individually, we all got to own up to what we do, understand what our jobs is on this team, and then we have to execute it. <laughs> did, did you feel like there was some of that building from you know, the Clipper game, even though you lost, it was pretty consistent effort, and then the uh, Celtics game? Or? Not really, no. No? No. So, you, so sorry, so you didn't sense that anything is connected, it's kind of still back and forth? Um, what did I say? I was just trying to clarify, but yeah. No, you try to answer it again. Good try, though. But what did I say the first time? I, 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 I am now confused, so it might, might have confused myself. No, no, don't get confused. You asked gotcha. me, you said, did it carry over from the Clipper game? I said, nah, 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 nah. You, all, you followed up and said, so did it carry over? You asked the same question. So the same answer is what? No. Thank you. Got you. There you go. Thank you. Just so we're clear. You understand. You just... Uh, you just Russ, you've been on the court every game this season. This, there's been injuries and guys have been in and out, but yeah. are, are you surprised that you're up eight and then all of a sudden kind of the energy kind of shifts like it did in the first quarter today at the end of the first quarter and going into the second quarter? Are you surprised that, that like those kinds of things are still happening um, with this group this year? Um, I mean, it happens to the, sometimes, and then um, you kind of got to figure it out as the game go on. When, when it happens, teams make runs. We have to individually talk to each other, figure out what's the best thing that we can do to make adjustments when teams are making those runs. Russ, uh, the turnovers both yours and the teams. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> was, You're a funny was, dude, Dave. You're a funny guy. What do you think the cause of them was tonight? <laughs> You're a funny dude, man. Just trying to make the right reads, man. You know, uh, some that we could take away, some that just happened. You know, some stepped out of bounds, <laughs> some loose ball turnovers, some that if you actually watch the game, you can see like, ah, oh, well, that's not, you know, it happens to the best of us. Live ball ones are the ones that we worry about where they can be able to, um, you know, give points of our turnovers, uh, which is something that we can work on. Uh, Russ, at this point in the season, do you feel like um, the team in general should have more resilience on, on, on nights like this when you guys are kind of battling the second half? Um, you know, with nights like this, we know what we're supposed to do. We know when we're supposed to take and win games, regardless of who's playing. But this is it. this is the NBA, and these guys are professionals just as well as us. Uh, we had to do a better job of taking on the challenge because we know when everybody's playing the Los Angeles Lakers, we're going to get everybody best shot. We know that from the start of the year. Um, we understand that, but we got to be able to own. AD, when the team is turning the ball over, what does it do? to your defense. Uh, obviously, that's been uh, a point of pride, the uh, Lakers defense, since you came here. And uh, it's, it's harder to perform on that end if, if I think they scored 27 points off your guys' turnovers tonight. Uh, we can't expect to win with 22 turnovers. Uh, they had 18 steals. Uh, 18 steals. Uh, 14 offensive rebounds. Like. It just don't give us a chance to set our defense, you know, um, and doesn't give us a chance to get a shot on the, on goal every time down the floor. Um, you know, got to do a better job taking care of the ball. Uh, I think it was a lot of, you know, unforced turnovers tonight. Um, and when we do that, like I said, our defense is compromised. You know, they're getting down the transition. Um, there might be three guys on the baseline for anything, and now, you know, the four on one, you know, three on two, four on two, whatever. And uh, we can't get set. Like you say, they scored was every time on, on our turnovers. It, um part of this is obviously happened tonight, but some of it's bigger picture too. You guys are, I think, 26 games into this. And, um, and the expectations were that this team would be, um, you know, you guys are built to compete for a title. Have you guys played to that standard? in your opinion, uh, to this point, and what, if not, I guess, what's kept it from happening? Um, games, uh, we have. Some games we didn't. Tonight we didn't. Against Boston we did. You know, so uh, it just got to be a more consistent thing. You know, that's our biggest problem right now, consistency. Um, you know, we come out <clears throat> certain games and 
don't play how we're supposed to play. And, you know, games like Boston, we come out and play great. So uh, we got to be a more consistent team if we want to truly compete for our championship. And um, it's a mindset thing. You know, we, we understand that we don't get everyone's best shot. Well, we don't understand, but, you know, we have to understand that we're going to get everyone's best shot. Uh, we can't control about – we can't control misses or makes. Um, but what we can't control is our, our effort defensively. I mean, you know, we try to hold our hats on, you know, being a top five, you know, top three defensive team, and we haven't been. Um, and so we gotta we got to change that quickly. Um, like I said, just tonight was game 26, and uh, we just can't. Even though I think we're in six right now, game and a half, two games, whatever, out of four, it's like we can't keep, um, you know, taking, you know, a step forward and two steps backwards. You know, so we gotta, we gotta, we gotta fix it quickly. Ad, sort of that, two steps forward, two steps back. It's kind of hard to miss in these law in these last couple losses. You know. This team without Ja and Dylan Brooks, uh, the Clippers without Kawhi, Sacramento without two of their starters. Um, do you feel like, um, you know, some of maybe what Frank called casualness is is related to seeing some of these shorthanded teams? No, um, I mean they they're in the league for a reason. Like all these guys can play, make shots, um, and I think when they're Star players are now uh, are out. Uh, we have to lock in even more because these guys have no conscience. You know they want to come in and beat the Lakers, beat LeBron, beat AD, beat what? Like they want to beat Melo. They want they want these things. You know, say, you know, I gave the Lakers 30, 25, whatever. You know, so um, you know these guys already feel like they're the underdogs when they come in, especially without their star players. And we got to play like we're the underdogs, um, which. Now, at this point in the season, the way we're playing a lot of games, we probably are. You know, we got to be able to um, have that mindset that we got to come in and, and be scrappy and be the more physical team and, and play like, you know, we're the underdogs. Anthony, just wondering how the how you think about the balance with you and LeBron and Russ, and you know, if some guys like LeBron tonight starts really strong, you know, it, does that affect or change the way that you are, what your role might be on a given night, and how that's going so far this season? Um, it's a battle, just because, like you said, if he got it going, or Russ got it going, or whoever has it going early, you know, we want to keep feeding him the ball, um, but also try to get yourself in the rhythm and get going as well. So, I mean, I think um, we've been doing a good job of kind of figuring that out, but um, it's games and sometimes during some parts of games where uh, we kind of get lost, you know, one player get lost or um, some of our role players get lost. Um, there's no movement. Guys don't know what to do. So um, <clears throat> we just got to make sure that we, we're moving the basketball, uh, getting everybody touches, even if a uh, guy has it going. Um, you know, as long as everyone touching the ball, like he might get the shot. But you know, we want to make sure we're moving the ball side to side. Everyone touches it, so they didn't, and I felt felt uh, felt like like they are um, out of the rhythm, out of the rotation, um, out of the swing of things. So we just gotta get better at that. But um, personally, honestly, I think we'll be fine, man. I think we'll be fine. You know, we just gotta. There's no switch that we can hit. We're not. It shows in games and, and over the course of the season that we don't we can't hit a switch so we gotta go out here and and grind. Um and be the more physical team and start getting wins by any means. Lakers looking to redeem those two losses to the Thunder on Friday and finally